Everybody just wants to get high. I mean, what happened to getting high on life? That I found it more difficult to get off cannabis than mm -hmm. I did off speed. And I should say what I meant by that is once I got free and clear from amphetamines, I could never see myself going back. Mm -hmm. But cannabis was always one of those soft drugs. It was yeah. like, it's just cannabis. Yeah. It's natural. Yeah, What's exactly. the harm? I've quit 20 times. I know I can quit again. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of people will say it's a non-addictive drug. But I'm curious from your perspective, from a treatment perspective, have you seen with the... The, the increase in availability of cannabis, um, an escalation or even maybe a skyrocketing in the, the number of um, treatments that are required for people who have cannabis addictions? I mean, I've definitely treated a lot of cannabis addicts, okay? Um, I'm against the legalization of cannabis, and I'll tell you why I'm against it. First of all, I don't believe people should ever go to prison for any drug. Let me state that. They need to get help. Now, with cannabis, if you make it legal, you, you let everyone know that it's safe. That's what you're saying. Because it's legal, so it's safe. Now, a lot of people in this country, if it was illegal, a lot of people actually are law-abiding citizens. But if it's not legal, they're not going to touch it. But the minute you've opened it up the Pandora's box that it's legal, and it's being mass-produced and mass-promoted, you are now creating more addiction. Because 15 to 20% of people that do smoke cannabis get addicted. Okay? Just like you were addicted, I was addicted. Now, I went to harder drugs and gave up cannabis because I like fucking harder drugs better. You know? <laughs> but I've seen so many people in this town smoke weed every day. And the weed that they're smoking, the THC levels are huge. Mm. Not when I was smoking weed. <laughs> Two to three times stronger. They are so out of it. And that is what's happening. Now, I really do believe that the addiction rates are going to get big, bigger. And you're not going to see dysfunction right away. Cannabis is a slow burn. Yes. Yeah. It's a real slow burn. And you smoke it every day, especially with the TAC levels, right? Uh, it's going to get worse and worse. It's just another going to be a social problem, okay? Where we could have just made it a speeding ticket, okay? And like you get a certain amount of speeding tickets, you know, like if you get a certain amount of tickets and you're caught with cannabis or a certain amount, well, then you got to go to counseling, you know, to work on the issue, okay? But it's free-floating. Our priorities are totally backwards, especially when we have such a crisis. So I don't see what good it is. Now, medical marijuana is another story. It's totally separate. Totally from, different, yeah. Totally separate from what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay? And it's so interesting is that the advocates always talk about the medical part, but that's just their manipulation, okay? Because there's a very small part of the population that needs it medically, okay? Compared to... Everybody just wants to get high. I mean, what happened to getting high on life? And I mean that. Mm. That's the social problem. There is no let's get high on life. It's always got to let me smoke a weed, let me have a drink. I mean, it, it, it is a, a, a mentality that you can't have fun or live life unless you're high on something. What the fuck? <laughs>